The recent surge in the spread of the coronavirus is setting records in our state and across the country. The United States has now recorded a million new cases of COVID-19 within just the past 10 days. Here in Ohio, another single day record was hit yesterday with more than 6,500 new infections. Cuyahoga County also setting a single day record with more than 600 new cases. And hospitalizations in our state also up yesterday, more than doubling the 21 week average with a record setting 386 people being admitted to our hospitals. Now this recent spike of COVID-19 cases forcing Governor DeWine to cancel yesterday's planned coronavirus briefing. Yes, instead he's now planning to address the entire state later today. For more on what we can expect, let's bring in Meg Shaw. And Meg, we know this isn't the first time Governor DeWine has done this. Yeah, absolutely, Danita and Katie. You know, back in June, Governor DeWine uh, did one of these rare evening press briefings where he shared then that we were at a critical point in the pandemic. At that point, he was uh, asking Ohioans to take immediate action to reverse the spread of the virus. Now, after that, we did make some progress here in our state, but now we are reaching new and even more alarming levels. Day after day, coronavirus numbers across the state of Ohio show the spread getting worse. Just yesterday, our state logged a record high of 6,500 cases in 24 hours, with nearly 390 people hospitalized, making Ohio the 23rd ranked state for new cases, according to the latest briefing by the White House Coronavirus Task Force. Earlier this week, Governor DeWine said as cases surge, every county in the state is seeing a demand for hospital staff. On Monday, Cleveland Clinic had 300 doctors, nurses and other staff out sick after contracting the virus. Back in March, DeWine and Dr. Amy Acton predicted we'd see 10,000 cases a day. We're still short, but even then the pair warned our hospitals can't handle those kinds of numbers. Tonight, DeWine is set to address the state in a 5:30 news conference where he's expected to talk about the virus's impact and how our state will move forward. Now, in a state report that was just released days ago, Cuyahoga County was listed as one of the three counties in the state with the most number of new cases in the last three weeks. That report says in order to get a handle on these uh, surges that we're seeing so that we can stop it, that we need to do additional testing with a heavy focus on teachers, county employees and hospital personnel. Reporting live on Meg Shaw News 5. Thank you, Meg. And of course, we will bring you DeWine's address live right here on News 5. We'll also be live streaming it on our News 5 app and also on our website and your favorite streaming device.